fish on the Tiagra. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. What's going on, dude? So it's about 5 a.m. I'm just getting down here to the dock to meet uh, my buddy Brian. You've seen me go out with him a bunch of times. He has that nice 30-foot cobia. We're going way out today, We're going offshore. So this is going to be epic. Oh, big and hammered to Tiagra. There he is. Uh. Are we ready to roll? I think we're ready. All right. Uh, they're not filling up right now. Is your port still on? Yeah. Getting a late start this morning. We uh, we had some wiring issues, but uh, we just fixed them. Got a, about an hour delay, but now we're heading out. So now something good's gonna happen. Got it. How are you doing this morning? Good deal. Oh, we got bait. They're dropping everywhere. All right, come back to the back real quick. That was some quick bait fishing. <laughs> Those sabikis came in here. So after fixing some electrical issues, we stopped by the bait boat to fill the live well full of bait and then headed south 25 miles to some deep rocks that I had hoped were holding a bunch of fish. We just got out here. Clay's got our first fish hooked up. It's fighting like a pretty good one too. I see color. You gotta be kidding me, man. A red snapper out here. I don't think I've ever caught a red snapper on this spot ever. Well, I got skills. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's throw a bait out the back and see what happens here. Our fly line just got hit over here. We got something coming up. He ate it on top. You got some clay? Lays on over here, man. We got three fish on at a time. Reel this one in, man. Reel that one in. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to tail them. Uh, you got a shark. That's a shark. Oh. That's a shark. There he is. We're infested with sharks, man. Got to make a move. They're everywhere. Since our first spot was infested with sharks, we had no choice but to make a move. So we cranked the engines, hit it about half a mile south, and it made all the difference in the world. Big and hammered to Tiagra. There you go. Whoa, knock somebody out. Look at that one. That's a monster king. Get the gaff, Brian. Fish on the Tiagra. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. There you go. Woohoo! All right. In there. That's a good one there. Son of a gun. That's a good one. That was a stud king, man. He ate our amberjack bait halfway down, and uh, he was a nice one. All right, I'm gonna drop a bait to the bottom here and see what happens. There he is. <sighs> Come on, fish. Be a scamp. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Oh, Scamp. Scamp. Damn. Yep, Bert, one cigar on oh. the bottom. That's what you catch. All right, I'm dropping back down and catching another right, scamp. Brian's got one hooked up over there. We got one hooked up right here. 
Ryan's got one on the jig. Got him on the jig, man. Look at that. That's a nice vermilion. Heck yeah. Come on, fish. That's a good one, man. Come on, fish. What we got, what we working with here? I'm about to join you, Clay. I'm about to join you. Look at there. That is a really nice vermilion snapper right there, man. That's as good as they get. So this spot proved to really be holding a bunch of fish. I mean, we filled the ice chest with giant vermilion snapper, scamp grouper, uh, lane snapper, almaco jacks, kings, and released a ton of other fish. Got him. Got him. It's another nice one here. Nope, I got an Almaco. That's a keeper. That's a keeper Almaco. All right, that's an Almaco jack. It's like a hammer jack, but a little different. Yeah. All right, we're going to start heading back. Bite kind of slowed down. We're going to look for some mahi or something on the way in. Caught a bunch of fish out here this morning, though. That's how you pull up an anchor. Nice little haul of fish. So after some quick fish cleaning, I decided to take some of the scamp home and cook it up for dinner because scamp grouper is by far one of my favorite fish to eat. So I'm back at the house now and uh, I'm going to bring in Melanie and let her cook this scamp for us. I also added a few snapper fillets in there. So we're gonna do pecan crusted scamp and snapper. Now scamp is a type of grouper and it's probably my favorite type of grouper to eat. So Melanie's gonna come in now and she is gonna, uh, she's gonna cook this pecan crusted grouper for you. Hey guys, I'm so excited to share with you this awesome recipe. It's actually a West Indian recipe, so it's a little bit spicy and a little bit sweet, and I think you're really gonna like it. So let's get started with the marinade. I'm gonna first chop up some garlic, and I'm gonna finely chop it, and then I'm gonna add in a jalapeno. And you can also add a scotch bonnet or a red jalapeno, but I'm just using a green jalapeno and I'm gonna keep the seeds in so it's a little bit spicy. And I'm gonna finally chop this jalapeno and then I'm gonna add it to my lime juice. So now that I've got the garlic and the jalapeno added, I wanna add in some herbs and I wanna season it. So I'm gonna add in some dried thyme, some salt, and some pepper. And now we're gonna get this marinade right over the fish. I'm gonna stir it really well together, get the fish coated, and then we'll let this marinade for about 10 minutes. So our fish has been marinating, and now I'm ready to cook it. And what I want to do is I actually want to take the fish and coat it really lightly in these ground pecans. And so now that I've lightly coated the fish, I'm ready to fry it. And I want to fry it just lightly on both sides just until the fish is cooked through. So 
So now that our fish has been cooked, I want to make this sauce. And so I'm going to start by making the sauce in the blender. It'll give it a nice texture and it'll be both acidic and sweet and it'll go really well with the fish. So I'm going to put in the blender the wet ingredients first. I'm going to start with a little bit of water and some olive oil. I'm also going to add some vinegar and some lime juice. Next I'm going to add the garlic and half of a jalapeno, which I kept the seeds in so it will still give us some heat. I'm also going to add in a red onion and some cilantro. Now the last ingredient is one of the most important and that is the capers because the capers really give this sauce a nice acidic bite. And then um, to sweeten it up a little bit, um, the actual last ingredient is the coconut palm sugar. And so we're going to blend this up, make sure it's really smooth, and then I'll taste it and see if I need to add in some salt and pepper or a little bit more coconut palm sugar to balance it out. So the fish is finished and so is our sauce. I went ahead and seasoned the fish again with a little bit of salt and pepper. And so how I would serve it is I would probably put the fish on a plate and have the sauce next to it so that right when you're ready to eat it, you can put the sauce on the fish. So I hope you guys liked Melanie's performance in the kitchen. This, uh, this food looks awesome. So now uh, we're gonna try this version of the pecan crusted grouper and snapper. Uh, I've actually had this sauce before once uh, in, the, in our catch and cook party video a few videos back uh, and it's awesome. This sauce is incredible but I, mean, I know it's going to be good on this grouper. So. Alright, here goes nothing. Pecan crusted grouper. So what did you think? That's awesome. I love the uh, coconut palm sugar in that sauce. It's uh, mm -hmm. a nice balance of sweet and salty. Phen and obviously grouper is already a phenomenal fish to eat. Very mild, firm fish. Um, and I loved everything about it. The fish has just been cooked really gently. I mean, you know, it's been marinated in that lime juice and the thyme. So the thyme gives it that kind of earthy flavor. And then, you know, it's got that pecan coating, so it's kind of crispy. And then the sauce is that vinegar acidic with the capers and the cilantro. And then you add that little bit of coconut palm sugar, and it's a very savory but spicy um, fish. I think it tastes really good. There you go, guys. Uh, we, we already knew the grouper was going to be awesome, and grouper's a great fish. And uh, man, we had a great time out there yesterday catching this fish. It's always a pleasure to fish with Brian and his crew. I mean, they're just great, great people. Also, guys, I, I know this is happening to a lot of uh, YouTube creators, but YouTube is not sending out a notification to any of our to many of our subscribers when uh, when we post a video so if you'll click the notification on right next to the subscribe button on my channel that way you'll get notified every time I post a video that would be awesome so uh, guys if you enjoyed this video shoot me a thumbs up let me know that you like it and I'll keep doing more you guys have a great week